In Solar, you can index and search documents without really having to define a schema up front. Although, behind the scenes, there will still be a manage schema. The schemaless mode can be used while you practice and learn Solar, since you don't really need to worry about designing your schema. Solar can detect your fields automatically and adjust the schema accordingly. We'll look at how that works in a minute. However, in a production environment, you might want to define your schema up front and not rely on automatic field detection. This is because schema defines not only the field names and the field types, but also any modification that should happen to a field before it is indexed. For example, if you want to ensure that a user who search for solar and another user who enters solar, all letters in uppercase, can both find the document containing the term solar, you'll want to normalize solar text value, or in this case, lowercase it when it is indexed, and also normalize the user's query to be sure of a match. These rules are defined in your schema. We'll explain how to design a schema later in this section. For now, let's test the schemaless mode. We'll create a new core using the default config set that comes with Solar installation. This time though, let's do the work using the command line, since this is probably how you'll interact with your productive environment. We'll start by creating a new configuration directory in the Solar config sets folder. We'll name this folder search underscore Twitter. Then we'll copy paste the default configuration found under solar underscore home server slash solar slash config sets. Copy minus R, which means recursively copy all directories and files. Then I specify the source folder, don't forget the dot at the end, and finally the destination directory. Let's see what we just copied. We have the manage schema, the solar configuration XML and a bunch of other configuration files. Next, I will create the solar core using the search Twitter config set I just created. To do this, I will use the curl command to send an HTTP GET request to the solar server curl minus x get http localhost 8983 solar admin which is the solar request handler to manage the cores then the action is to create a core name twitter search And here I'll specify the instance directory. Status 0, success. You don't have to remember these comments, since you can check the Solar API documentation. By the way, you can find all the commands I execute on GitHub. Check the link in the resources. To see the current fields of a schema, we can issue an HTTP GET request. curl x GET HTTP localhost search Twitter slash schema slash fields. As you can see, there are some dummy fields defined from the default schema. Next. I will create a new document with some new random fields and I will give them some random values and Solar automatically creates the field mapping for me. I already prepared the example and I will just copy paste it here. Don't worry, you have the snippet code in the resources. Please notice that here I use the post method instead of the get since now I add data to Solar instead of requesting data. If I retrieve the schema now, it will show me what fields I had in my document. As you can see, Solar also detected the types for each field. 